Hi, and welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with 121 Media, coming to you from Thunderhead's Innovate New York 2011 conference. And I'm joined by Thunderhead founder and CEO, Glenn Manchester. And today, Glenn and I will be talking about the future of customer communications management. Glenn, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Tom. Great to be here. Thank you. So, you know, Glenn, this morning at the conference, there was a lot of discussion around the rise of the empowered customer and how this is changing the dynamic of customer company communications. Uh, can you share with us what you see is happening in terms of how this is influencing the direction of customer communications management? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a convolution of events, Tom. Uh, the market's changing and it's definitely an inflection uh, with regard to uh, where customers are being reached and how they're being serviced. And that's presenting all sorts of tremendous opportunity. Um, and for us, we don't tend to look at the market as being customer communication management. We tend to look at it as a customer journey and our organizations gear themselves up for helping, helping manage that process. Okay, great. Thanks. So, um, can you also offer some advice and recommendations as to how companies can go about using both customer intelligence and analytics to help devise more effective uh, communication campaigns and c customer communication management uh, strategies as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's interesting. Analytical CRM. Uh, where you kind of predict customer behavior and then kind of inject treatments into communications as a result of that insight. That's, that's, that's something that we've been doing for, for a while, exploiting sunk investment in CRM, helping brands better communicate with their customers. What we think is really exciting is that that's no longer good enough. Uh, clearly, uh, customers are much more empowered. They tweet, they blog. Uh, they have control over what they buy, they influence big brands, uh, uh, promotions and products, uh, and they're much more in the driving seat. So it's no longer a question of just producing uh, personalization based on your knowledge of the customer from the inside out. It's very much how to blend and meld uh, the behavior of a customer and their requirements and marry it with your insight. So it's a kind of new age of CRM, and, and, and that for us we think is a tremendous opportunity because that's where our expertise truly lies. Sure. So, who are you finding are examples of companies that are really kind of pushing the, the boundaries on this and driving really effective business results as a result? Yeah, we're seeing um, uh, kind of you know, a tremendous proactive um, uh, thought leadership from, from a range of industry sectors. We have clients uh, in the credit card sector, you know, big major brands that are engaging with their customers across different channels, using insight from their CRM systems and, and uh, marrying that with behavior uh, from social networking activity to to get the most relevant outcome for their customers uh, and uh, you know make that experience much more tailored and much more outcome based. Uh, we've got organizations working with us in federal government where they have uh, veterans around the world that need communications based on the devices they're using or their contextual circumstance. Uh, maybe they have disabilities so they need to communicate with those veterans uh, in, in, in the way that's most suitable and convenient for them. Uh, we have big insurance brands that uh, want to speak multi-language to their, to their consumers because they don't feel it's any longer appropriate just to talk in one language and, and uh, through one device, maybe paper or, or email. They want to manage the whole experience um, across channels and touch points uh, in, in the most relevant and adaptable way, uh, but also not just do that, but do it in the language of the customer's preference as well. So, so we're seeing a kind of an explosion of interest, all recognizing that you know, new age marketing will be based around servicing the customer. You know, traditionally marketing was all about you know campaigning uh, and driving things from the brand's perspective. Uh, there's kind of an inversion of approach now that says well, actually servicing will be the new marketing, and an outcome of a relationship that maybe drives a product sale uh, will be best served if the organisation is focused on servicing the customer. It's interesting. I know you had mentioned earlier that you know there's this kind of blending that's occurring between marketing and service. And can you talk about that a little bit and yeah. what you see happening there? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really, really interesting. Um, if you think about how the industry of communicating with customers has evolved, you've got silos, you've got uh, marketing automation, a range of fantastic vendors that have become very adept at campaign management, analytical CRM, uh, and so forth. 
um, uh, email marketing, uh, you know, a gamut of different technologies. Uh, on, the, on the other side, you've got servicing technologies, you've got organizations that maybe have been more output orientated, and more traditionally uh, centered around uh, printing and documents and back office fulfillment. Mm. Uh, we ourselves came in at a, a, a point and said, well, actually, both have relevance. But the real opportunity is to stand back and say, well, actually, this is all about managing the customer experience, be it a marketing communication or be it a servicing communication. Really, the opportunity must be to kind of orchestrate that in a very seamless and unified way. And uh, from, from our perspective, I feel that you know, we have a very differentiated approach and we think it's in tune with the marketplace and, and we think what, what big brands are reaching out for is to manage what would have been traditionally called a joined up dialogue. And a joined up dialogue was always challenging, but it's never been more challenging because of the variable touch points that a consumer would engage with the brand on. Sure. So that needs to be managed in a very synchronized way and taking into account all the nuance of social media behavior that a customer may be enacting on as well. And for that, you can't look at the customer just as a, a marketing consumer or a servicing consumer. You need to look at them holistically. And, and I think that's gonna be the big step change we see over the next few years. And, Right now, actually, but, but building up is, is how organizations wrestle with a challenge, challenge of managing that variability of customer management across all of those touch points in a really synchronized and joined up way. Right. Okay, great. Well, Glenn, thanks so much for sharing your time and your insights with us today. Uh, it's a pleasure, Tom. Thanks for talking to me.